Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. I am Lord Formand. We are playing as the growing kingdom of Portugal. We have yet to hit empire status. I don't know if we ever will. Um, anyhow, uh, Merry Christmas to all of my Christian uh, viewers. Um, recording this Christmas day. So hopefully you guys are going to have a good holiday. And for everybody else, just have a good day as well. So let's jump right into this. We are in the process of invading the very, very large mess of miners in Mexico. Um, so we're going to keep doing that. We just took out one and almost all of another. Uh, clearly, we're going to have to take quite a bit of land here. I'm hoping we can do something like that. England is now a great power. Delightful. Um... Also, at the end of the last video, all of this diplomatic stuff expired, so let's take some money. I feel reasonably safe offending some of my estates, but not completely. Still haven't made up my mind about whether or not I take trade ideas now, or I take trade ideas later. I'm thinking taking trade ideas now might work actually better, because we still have a lot of land we can colonize before we actually have to plunge into outright conquest constantly. Oh. There was an event that a lot of dissatisfied people have now rebelled against the Aztec support to support me. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Doesn't help me too, too much, but it's always appreciated. Um... Kind of trying to save some money so that we can actually get like more trade power or steering in uh, some of my trade company areas. So ideally, I'd like to get to roughly a thousand, especially in the Ivory Coast trade node. I really should divert another um, colonist or two just to fill in this area and. Uh, get over 51%. Either that or I gotta invade Benin, which actually, seeing how beat up they are, that might be a good idea. So many places, so little time to expand. It's like, oh, I should go here, oh, I should go there, oh, I should go here, oh, I should go there. You know what, I might just do that. I might just raise an army of literally mercenaries. Do 10, and then we'll, of course, raise a couple cannon. And cavalry unit. I'm thinking I might just create an entire army of mercs and stuff. That way I can fight wars in uh, Africa and stuff while at the same time taking over this. I knew I'd need to do a second army at some point. I was hoping to avoid doing it for a while till we had more money. But there are so many opportunities to expand right now. I really do need to take advantage of them. The problem I see here is I'm going to have to take all this land rather than take that one province I wanted. Uh, Netherlands War of Independence. Yeah, I guess I'll help the English. I just hope like Spain doesn't join the other side. Sorry, Castile still has yet to form Spain. I think it might be they've given Aragon too much land. No, no they are being integrated. Okay. I guess they can't take the event because they've given them too much land. If our gun's too large, Castile can't absorb them with a single decision, which is strange. Um, where can I get a, call, a claim on France anywhere? Oh yes, I can claim uh, provinces down here. Yes. Okay. Once this war's over, we might attack France for these two provinces. But in reality, we want these provinces. In a direct military conflict, we ourselves cannot fight France. It's not even close. But I'm hoping if I can call in Castile and England, we might have a very good shot. Obviously, we need to wait until England actually wins this war before they'll help us. Uh, why is East Frisa in this war? Anyway, I think Europe 
by and large has fallen to the Reformed and Protestant. Uh, slight holdouts in Sweden and Poland, obviously, and Southern Italy and East Spain and England. France is in some trouble. Okay, we should have a good enough war score here for me to take virtually everything. Maybe we can take everything, I don't know yet. We can take all of that. Um, can I take... Ooh, I can... Ooh, wait a second. That's a vassal of the guys I'm fighting. The last thing we want to do is get a vassal. So we'll leave that land and we'll take that land. Trying to avoid getting vassals, obviously, because then you have to wait a while and then convert them. It's just not worth the hassle. Um, however, I'm thinking it might be worth moving my main military out of this area. Not sure yet. Uh, let me think for a minute. Uh, Kinda need that and may fabricate claims for subjects. It's a shame it's nestled so deep in there. I, I was thinking of maybe trying to set up a uh, a vassal in Africa. But I don't think that would work very well. How about these guys, how are you doing? Baklava, Ravi. I might have to, I might leave, I might leave one of my armies in, in Mexico, my normal armies, and then take the other one with the mercenary army to fight in Africa. The issue is England really needs to win this war fast, or all these provinces are going to def start defecting to them. Interesting how Castile is Antwerp. <laughs> None of the other provinces, just Antwerp. Be careful about that. Does Austria still control Hungary? They do. Not integrating them yet either. That should be completely built up. No, actually I can raise two more. Um, yes and yes. This, we're losing money. England's adopt printing press. How are we doing ourselves? Ah, it's actually present in our capital. And it should spread fairly quickly because we have that wonderful little bonus of institution spread for the Age of Reformation. Um, we also are still converting some of Morocco. They seem to be stable for the moment. The big worry is they might start collapsing or something. We don't want that. Um, okay. The other option is I leave my Merc army in Mexico to fight lots of little wars. Ooh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Um, I'm actually, now that I think about it, I'm really tempted to leave the Merc army in Mexico where it can keep fighting without having to waste manpower. Okay, England won. Oh, if I want to attack France, now would be the time. Okay, um, for that I am going to need an army back in the old world. Okay, I'll try that. Um, 
I'll leave my Merc army in Mexico for the time being, and we'll move my real army back to hopefully fight France in Europe and get some lands. I'm not sure how this will go, though. Wait, do I not have... I don't have military access from this deal. Uh, okay. Where's my army? Come on. Where are you? Uh, for now, let's just land here. I, something wasn't working right there. Okay, we'll move to there. I'll try and get some military access from Castile. Then we'll set up that we want some of France's southern provinces. I'd like coastal provinces, but also taking land here wouldn't be bad either. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, England doesn't have claims on that land anymore. Good to see. And my actual fleet is starting to get constructed. Let's get global trade power. That should boost my income a fair amount, I gotta imagine. 1.5 gold, not immensely. Not immensely useful. A um, little bit of corruption. Get an influential trading family going. Okay, okay, um, military access from Castile, have it, I don't know why we couldn't land our troops there then. And I will raise a single unit down here, and let's merge all this together so I don't have to deal with that long list of events. Let's get a claim on this. Uh, And a claim on this. Portuguese Mexico is not doing particularly well converting their lands, are they? Whew. And now I'm about to pick a fight with France. For no particularly important reason. Anyway. I do want their land in Guinea, which is pretty much why I'm picking this fight. But on the other hand... Oh wait, I can't... Why won't you win this? Oh, they're in debt. They're in debt too. Oh, I don't own enough favors. England doesn't owe me enough favors. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, that's going to be delayed for a while, then. Okay, um, I guess we're not attacking France anytime soon. I'm pretty sure, yeah, France has more troops than we do. Um, who is weaker here? Sokolava is pretty weak. If I fight them, I have to fight Moravi, though. If I fight Moravi, I have to fight Sokola and Skoga. Let's work on invading these guys then. We'll work on both the Aztec, this army, and we'll also work on Africa with the other army. Army, I guess because they've been combined. Other army, once we get those going. Still converting in Morocco. Still letting Portuguese Mexico try desperately to keep up with all our conquests. It's a bit of a risk doing all these wars so quickly in Mexico, but I think in the end it'll come out better having Mexico under our control and functioning. I love how I can transport a guy from who's somewhere in the ocean immediately to Mexico for this war. Yeah. 
15 troops that are all mercenaries plus Portuguese Mexico's army. This arm, these wars should go easily in our favor. Um, these guys don't have any allies either. Okay. Got to make sure I always have a free diplomat. So. Load you up. Move you to here of all places. Colony in Sumatra is going fairly well. Obviously, once we get those two Muslim colonies fully developed over here, we're going to have to swap from helping Morocco to helping ourselves for a little while. Get some Catholics going. Let's merge you together. We also got to get getting pretty close to our naval force limit. We are, so where are we still training ships? Caraval. Uh, Oops. Caraval. Uh, we're gonna have to shift things around. Okay. At least that should make it a little bit faster. Um, nope. We want all your lands. Not just a little. More land, the better. Especially if it goes into. Um, so if it goes into Mexico. This colony is working pretty well, and then one more, and then we should have Louisiana started, which nets us a lot of land, actually. Ah, oh, nice little diplomatic power from my vassal. Thank you. Okay, the Ottomans haven't expanded again. Crimea is doing really well, look at that. Grand Republic. Russia is entirely useless. Taking a while for them to take over that area. Um, Portuguese Peru has colonized a good portion of that. Rio da Prata hasn't done anything. Brazil is doing stuff though. As is Cuba. Cuba actually has two colonists going. Wow going to be some fast colonization of the remainder of the Caribbean, which is what exactly we want. Uh, Castile's new Popple controller. We'll throw our hat into the ring a little bit. Being one of, what, like 10 Catholic nations left in the world. Some of them are tiny. We'll join the Catholic League. Protestant League's definitely going to win that. I'm not going to get involved, obviously. It'd be stupid of me to do so. I might lose land and I wouldn't get anything out of it. This is done. Awesome. Um, I move to start colonizing there. I'll boost the autonomy temporarily. That mercenary is almost done. And we've won this war. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to transfer all this control to Mexico. Delightful. Because I can't take it because I have no way to core it. Of course, as soon as I take it, it will go to these guys anyway. So, whatever. That's that solved. Although I'm starting to foresee a little bit of rebellion going on in Mexico. The Netherlands are too hard to keep down and they've retaken their normal region. They'll probably pick up Liege or something soon. 
Anyhow, doesn't do to underestimate the Netherlands. They're almost completely unkillable. Oh, okay, that is one of the last two Louisiana colonies we need done. Okay, and then we'll get a claim on where's your trading province there. Okay. And claim on these guys there. And start a war with these guys here. <laughs> Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and more wars. Um, we'll do the Southeast Pacific still. We probably could try and circumnavigate the globe at this point. Got a pretty good start going. Um, oh, I'm dumb enough. I didn't actually send this. I did. Why do I have another colonist? Oh, did I not send it to Louisiana? Yeah. Oh, double clicks rather than single clicks mess me all up. All up, everywhere. Um, let's add that. On, and we should be able to attack these guys. Transfer you to there. We should have superior ships. I'm not terribly worried. I do have to be a little bit careful. Um, but we do outnumber them. Nope, that's not good enough. Um... These guys should be our next target then. Fighting wars in different fronts are always exciting. Um, don't include subjects. We cannot convert that province because it's territory. Okay. Um, Don't really want to make it a territory. <sighs> Let's talk to the uh, clergy. Recruit Inquisitor. Still needs to be a territory. Okay, well, we'll make it a territory for now. We'll enforce religious unity. That should colonize that area reasonably fast. Still gonna have to deal with whole, this whole area. I'm actually gonna move my fleet over around Madagascar to prevent any transport ships. Landing, hopefully. Oops, um, no. uh, go back. Ah, darn. Okay, um, that's done. Steel did get that, not surprised. Slightly annoyed though, but not surprised. Let's naval barrage for 29 compared to the 49. The reason that's so expensive is because we don't actually have our flagship in this fleet, but it's still slightly cheaper. We should probably get our flagship back with our actual military at some point. Um, we'll look after the people. Okay, that's going well, that's going well. That is our next target once this war is over. But these guys, oh, they're allied to people up there I don't care about. 
Although the Native Americans are mostly reforming themselves by now. I still would like to get after France if I can, but I still need those favors from England. Who is unhappy with me? Oh, I should probably divert one of these guys to allies and just leave it there. That way I don't I don't risk losing an alliance with either Castile or Spain. Next favor will be two years. And we will push onwards. Okay. Victory there, that fleet should lose. Yes. Oh, we lost a heavy... No, they lost a heavy ship. Okay. If I lost a heavy ship, something went really wrong. Just need to catch these guys. Awesome. Southeast Pacific. Um... South China Sea. We could really learn to le learn a little bit about more about Indonesia in that area. On, they can just run away indefinitely. You know what? I'm gonna be smart about this. Do that. Send this army off to catch them, and we'll use this army to occupy land. We've also taken all of these guys' lands. Passed them all to Mexico. Mexico, Mexico. Yep. That's that done. Or Portuguese Mexico is barely keeping their head above water. Oh well, that's the way it goes. The burden of being a colonial nation. You have to suffer through all your overlords' petty wars with everybody. Oh, let's get some better cavalry. Really could use another merchant, but that's not going to happen. A revolt. That's not allowed. Actually, they should be able to handle that. I'm not going to get involved. I'm going to attack these guys instead. Uh, what would it take to get Morocco slightly happy with me? Oh. Okay, they're right on the edge of starting to become happy. Still hunting for that Saklavin army. Also, Cuba has arrived. Where did their military go? That is concerning. I have no idea where their military is. We'll deal with your rebels, Mexico. I got the war. Nope, they're chasing them off the map. I think. Or maybe they're... I think they're actually going to deal with the rebels. Good. Good AI. There's their military. And it looks like we caught them. Oh, nope, they got away. Darn. Okay, that, that's war. That's <clears throat> that war over with as well. Lots of wars in this episode. We're going to stop pretty much after this. This has been a slightly longer one. It's a bit of a Christmas special for people. Although we're not particularly in the spirit of the Christmas holidays with all our warmongering, but that's the way it goes when one plays Europa. 
call you back. Put you all together. This guy's got past me again. Ugh. They're good at running away, if nothing else. Separatists galore in Mexico. Not entirely surprised, to be honest. We did overextend Mexico considerably. So I think that's probably an end to some of our warmongering in Mexico. Six overextension, yeah. We're going to stop there in Mexico. And uh, I just want to get rid of this army before I stop. Because it's driving me crazy trying to hunt them down. Once they're stack wiped, we'll stop. Uh, assuming that there isn't a massive peasant revolt at the same time. Uh, we'll take the stability, obviously. One always wants the stability. Those guys are actually locked into marching there. So we can catch them and maybe stack wipe? Nope. Of course not. Instead, they're going to march up to my other army. Okay, uh, I think we will stop here then. So, Mexico's got rebels, but also a lot more land. We're invading Madagascar. Once we defeat their army here, we're going to invade this area and hopefully pick up a couple provinces. I would like these provinces specifically because they got gold mines. And uh, overall, we'll just see where things go. So, thank you guys all for watching. That will be it for me. Bye for now.